Recent studies utilizing data from the Gaia Space Observatory offer a new approach, suggesting that dark matter could be subtly influencing the orbits of binary star systems. These findings open a thrilling chapter in our cosmic journey, hinting at the possibility that dark matter might not only be detectable, but also more bizarre and fundamental than ever imagined. In this video, we will explore how disruptions in binary star systems could be the key to unveiling dark matter, delve into the innovative methods scientists are using to track these invisible influences, and discuss the profound implications these discoveries could have for our understanding of the universe. Dark matter, an invisible substance, makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, shaping galaxies and bending the fabric of space-time itself. Despite its pervasive influence, dark matter remains one of astronomy's most elusive mysteries. It began with the observations of galaxy rotation speeds by scientists like Vera Rubin in the 20th century. They noticed that galaxies spin at such speeds that without some form of unseen mass holding them together, they should fly apart. This led to the theory that some type of invisible matter must be exerting gravitational pull, holding these galaxies intact. For decades, scientists have posited various candidates for dark matter, the most popular being weakly interacting massive particles or WIMPs. However, despite extensive searches in particle accelerators and special detectors buried deep underground, WIMPs remain undetected. This lack of evidence has pushed researchers to consider alternative theories. Enter the study of binary star systems through the lens of the Gaia catalog. Gaia, a space observatory launched by the European Space Agency, has been meticulously mapping billions of stars in our galaxy with unprecedented accuracy. Its data on binary star systems, stars that orbit each other, are now providing clues that might just help us detect dark matter. Binary stars are particularly useful for studying dark matter because their orbits provide a sensitive measure of gravitational influences. If dark matter exists as theorized, its gravitational effects should cause measurable disturbances in these orbits. This is where the recent research comes in. Scientists have proposed that ultralight particles, far lighter than electrons and even neutrinos, could be a form of dark matter. These particles, due to their incredibly small mass, wouldn't interact much with ordinary matter through forces other than gravity, making them nearly impossible to detect directly. However, they could influence the orbits of binary stars, creating anomalies that can be detected and studied. This theory leads us to a fascinating possibility. These ultralight particles could behave not just as particles, but as waves. According to quantum mechanics, all particles exhibit wave-like properties, but these properties are usually observable only at subatomic scales. For particles as light as those proposed for dark matter, these wave-like properties could manifest on a much larger scale, across astronomical distances. Scientists are now using the precise data from Gaia to look for signs of these wave-like dark matter particles in the motion of binary stars. If dark matter can indeed be modeled as a wave that influences the motion of stars, it would not only support the theory of ultralight particles, but also provide a new way to understand gravitational interactions in the cosmos. This could explain some of the discrepancies observed in the motion of stars on the outskirts of galaxies, and even offer new insights into the formation and stability of galaxies. Let's dive into how astronomers use binary star systems to search for dark matter. Bound by gravity, these stars usually orbit each other in predictable patterns. However, if dark matter exerts additional gravitational forces on them, their orbital paths might show slight but detectable anomalies. They could accelerate unexpectedly, slow down, or their orbits might subtly distort over time. With the precision of the Gaia Space Observatory, even these minor deviations are observable. Such changes can act as indirect evidence of dark matter, especially when they coincide with theoretical predictions about how dark matter behaves. Astronomers gather data on the positions, velocities, and distances of stars using instruments like those aboard the Gaia Observatory. This data is then analyzed using complex algorithms designed to detect anomalies in orbital patterns. These anomalies could, theoretically, be caused by the gravitational effects of dark matter solitons, 
coherent, wave-like structures predicted by quantum field theories that describe ultralight particles. Solitons, in the context of dark matter, are particularly intriguing. If dark matter particles are indeed as light as proposed, they would not behave like individual particles, but rather as continuous waves that can form soliton-like structures. These structures would not disperse as they travel through space, maintaining their shape and potentially exerting a steady, detectable gravitational influence on objects they encounter, such as binary star systems. To understand the potential impact of these dark matter waves, consider the ocean. Just as a soliton in water maintains its form over long distances, a dark matter soliton would traverse the galactic medium without losing its coherence. The gravitational effects of such a soliton passing near or through a binary star system could be akin to the subtle pull of an undercurrent affecting a boat on the surface, not immediately obvious, yet undeniable upon careful measurement. High-resolution telescopes and space observatories collect vast amounts of data on star positions and movements. Supercomputers then process this data, running simulations and algorithms to predict and detect the expected influence of dark matter solitons. These predictions are based on detailed models that incorporate quantum mechanics and general relativity, bridging the gap between the incredibly small and the immensely large scales of the universe. Beyond the binary star systems, the quest to uncover dark matter encompasses a range of detection strategies. Underground detectors, for instance, aim to capture dark matter particles directly by shielding experiments from cosmic rays and other background noise, hoping to observe the rare interactions between dark matter and regular matter. On the other hand, indirect detection methods focus on the byproducts of dark matter interactions or decay, such as gamma rays, or anomalies in cosmic microwave background radiation. These methods scan the cosmos on a grand scale, linking dark matter's macroscopic effects with its microscopic properties. The challenges of detecting ultralight particles, proposed as candidates for dark matter, have spurred significant innovations in measurement technologies. Instruments like atomic clocks, which can measure time with incredible precision, and interferometers, which can detect minute changes in space and time, are now on the front lines. These devices are sensitive enough to detect the hypothetical oscillations caused by ultralight dark matter particles, which as mentioned, could ripple through space like waves across an ocean. In conclusion, the investigation into dark matter's influence on binary star systems and the broader implications of this research represents a significant pivot in our understanding of the cosmos. By integrating observations from binary stars with advanced detection technologies and theoretical frameworks, this field of study not only seeks to uncover one of the universe's most compelling mysteries, but also pushes the boundaries of what modern physics can explain. Future research will likely continue to blend these approaches, increasingly relying on interdisciplinary collaborations that could one day crack the dark matter enigma, reshaping our understanding of the universe's fundamental components. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey to unravel the mysteries of dark matter. As we've explored today, stay curious, and until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of the universe with us.